morning, Professor. Ah, Jensen, Lewis. Four tenths of a second early. Excellent. So what are you showing us today? Today I'm going to show you the future of Formula One. What, robot drivers? I am Jensen Robot and <laughs> Lewis Hammerbot. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, chaps. But what I'm going to show you is top secret. On no account must it ever leave the building. And here we have just a few of the spare keys from Mika Hakkinen's name. I'm about to show you the car for the Formula One season in 2020 and beyond. First, you'll need to put on these special helmets. They allow the driver to control the car by thought, as well as having an augmented reality display, providing a complete analysis of track conditions and a rundown of rival drivers. The car uses a revolutionary new lubricant that we've developed with our partners over at Mobile One. By spreading to a thickness of one micron, a single drop will last an entire season. Cool. Ah. Yeah. Gentlemen, we haven't spent five years developing this so you can play skidsies. Ah, oh, good. I see you're testing the inbuilt airbags. Now, the car is powered by a revolutionary new engine no bigger than a sugar cube. Wow, that's the engine. No, this is a sugar cube. Oh. The engine is here. Now, the car. Uh, it hasn't got any wheels, mate. It doesn't need any, Jensen. It floats. Now remember, Lewis, the car is thought control. So whatever you do, don't think about racing. What was that you said about nothing leaving the building? Good heavens, he's heading straight for Sweden. You better take over, Mike. I think I've just seen a flying bar of soap. Oh, dear. There's only one thing for it. We're going to have to fire up Vodafone McLaren Mercedes 1. Jensen, do you think you can catch him? 